What's up, people? Uh, Mike here. And this is The Last of Us. Uh, grounded difficulty walkthrough. We are in Bell's Town for, I guess it's chapter 3. Um, so, I include this little bit right at the start of the level. Uh, if you go around to the, the right side, you'll get some health supplies and some items to pick up um, when it comes towards upgrading your health and whatnot it's good to have um, and uh, when you come into this area on the right there's a clicker in the little like shack or whatever it is and then I guess when you deal with that one a second one will spawn further down and I just decided not to deal with them so I just left them alone um, when I would do grounded plus for that trophy um, I would deal with it because by that point I'd have like all the upgrades on like the shivs and whatnot where I could use one shiv at least like two two additional times. Um, I think the most was three, if I remember right. If I'm rem remembering the the manual pickups, I think it gave you like three hits. Um, but for a new game, I just don't bother dealing with them. Um, and. I do open the shiv door, um, that's why I made a second one, just so that I would still have a shiv. Um, there's some supply, some health supplies, some building supplies, I think there was ammo, I'm not positive, um, but after you open the door, the, this is another little supply pickup that I Included in the video just in case anyone may maybe doesn't know to come over here. Um, there's some building supplies, some health, um, you know, all the good stuff. So. And. Mostly in the whole beginning of this video is just me showing like where a bunch of the supplies are in this in this early area um, so I'm gonna kinda cut out of the commentary and then I'll rejoin you when uh, shit starts to get uh, a little hectic Bill's handiwork. Anybody else live in this town? Or as I know, it's just him. <laughs> Mandatory evacuation. Evacuate to where? What do you think? Quarantine zone. See, some places got a heads up before the infection showed up. Most didn't. Man, must be hard. Just leaving all your stuff behind like that. That ain't the hard part. Sad. What is? All this music that's just sitting.
God. Oh, shit, Joel. Now listen. Bill ain't exactly the most stable of individuals. So when we get there, you let me do the talking. You understand? I understand. We gotta be clear on this. He don't take too kindly to strangers. See that wire? Stay underneath it, okay? Just keep your head low and you'll be fine. All right. Oh, shit. Those things are kind of awesome. There's one way to do it. See that? Get back. Come on. Just stay close. Okay, so this is probably my least favorite section of the entire game. Um, just because of the fact that I I can have some pretty shitty aim and I just don't enjoy this section. Um, especially since I, I think just in general I even on New Game Plus if you get one of the enemies like even on top of you you're just instantly dead um, I believe on the lower difficulty you have a bit of a chance to like push them away if I'm remembering right but as I recall for grounded it's as soon as they grab you you're just dead like there's no there's no surviving it and also going into this area I didn't have my revolver uh, reloaded yet so I had a few runs here where I ended up dying because I got caught in the middle of reload because I think I only had like three bullets loaded in initially and it was one of the times where I managed to miss a shot and caught, got caught in the reload and was dead, so. I, I made sure to reload my gun as soon as I could once I killed the, the first enemy. Um, Yeah, you can see I'm just missing all my shots. Um, um, I believe you can... S I, I can't remember, but I believe you can go into this fight with the, the normal pistol and not the revolver. And I think that makes this a little bit easier. Since the, the pistol usually just has... Um, a little bit more ammo to it. If I'm remembering that, I could be completely wrong on that. So. And then, eventually, once you cut down, you're in this little, this little moment that you just need to run and get the fuck out of there. Um. And um, what I should have done here is that I should have uh, had a, if I had a brick or something, um, I could have thrown it at one of those guys 
and I would have managed to save my ammo. But, um, then I shouldn't have used my melee weapon on that thing. I should have kind of tied it around uh, the room so I could have gone out the door without having to fight any of these guys. Since once you make it to the the safe room or whatever it is, you instantly trigger a cutscene. So I could have saved all that stuff. But um Once you get here, um you might have seen I, I did a little bit of Cutting a lot of the walking bits and whatnot. Um, so, use your melee weapon here. Um, saving the modified melee weapon in this area works out because you can get one of the clickers instantly with it, and then you can save your extra uh, weapon hits for the the other enemies. And then, um, on the right of where I am, there is a a new pipe that you can pick up if you use up your other one. Um, this, this area can be a little hectic. I ended up dying because of having too many enemies on top of me and my teammates not doing shit for me. But... But once they're all dead, just kind of run around. Um, I don't think these enemies ever really drop any supplies for you. So, it's a bit unfortunate. And then, uh, the last bit of this video is just me picking up the supplies that are around here. Getting the, the, level, the level 1 tool upgrade so I can... Um, upgrade stuff. Uh, the first thing I do is that I get the the holsters so I can have two pistols and two uh, two-handed weapons because those are always like the first things I try to upgrade to have so I can instantly have like the shotgun and the crossbow or the bow and arrow or the rifle and then um, I just do a couple other upgrades um, and that's pretty much it for this video.